concur what you said that um, I mean I also remember like you know uh, attending so many more concerts yeah. when I was younger like you know dance music and there used to be like you know if you uh, look at any of the festivals you would have seven day ten day like you know like uh, music festivals and uh, performers from across the country would come and perform and so on and those that atmosphere and like you know where it democratized dance it was not in the stage but it was in these um created uh, stages um you know where a lot more people and children could view and experience things that is not happening anymore so that's really like you know like a space where things need to be done but tell me like you know just a question going back to your the three year course that you created how different is it from uh, you know the structured thing that you learn in India, and it's coming from um, you know because when I learned, I mean like I had learned in a very traditional way, but when I met friends who had uh, you know grown up in the U.S. and they had learned uh, from teachers within the U.S., the style was a lot more performance oriented, a lot more of uh, you know sort of uh, like a different style of learning that they had gone through than the very um, you know traditional like you know build up. Um, on the elements and the basics and take it from there kind of a style that we have gone through. So how is it in London and how do you think like you know, it should evolve in the future? Okay, so uh, the inception of it started with something called ISTD, Imperial Society of Teachers of Dance. So dancers, um, Sushmita Ghosh, uh, Sujata Banerjee, myself, Pushkala Gopal, some of the dancers initiated by Academy and a lady called, very dynamic lady called Meera Koshe, who actually got us together to come and think, to create um, a syllabus. This is the first thing that we did. So we created a Kathak and a Bharatnatyam syllabus. And I still remember I wrote the first uh, specifications of the syllabus. And it was a Herculean task because we had such a dense vocabulary. How do you simplify? How do you funnel it to make it accessible and easy so you don't have like 50 tukras, but you just have six tukras. And those six tukras will need the elements of A, B, C, and D. Because as an examiner, you're going to just look at that. So that's where the first time I saw how a structure was created in the syllabus. So if I tra track down, and I know Padmaji will speak about it, but this Mohan Rakhalyan Purkarji, he created the first syllabus in India. Uh, I think 1958 uh, for the Sangeet Natak Academy sort of gave a structure to Katha. But since then, we had evolved quite a bit. So when we did the ISTD uh, syllabus, it was quite challenging to segment it. So we created a grade six, one to grade six of that. After creation of that, a lot of us started doing the ISTD exams. In fact, we still take the ISTD exams in India. So once I moved back, I brought that system here as well. Of course, we have um, Bhad Khande, you know, uh, Vidya Pete, they have the exams and Gandhar Mahavidyale and Praya. The difference is they are also written exams, Amrita. And abroad, it was very difficult for the children to write in Hindi for various reasons. And if you did an English thing, somehow it didn't have its tuning. You know, you can't learn an art form in English, to be honest. It has to have the uh, Hindi, Hindi avishak hai, Hindi bolna, Hindi parna, Hindi likna, zaruri hai. To ek koshish hai. So it was very interesting. So we created the syllabus, just the sixth grade syllabus for a once a week training happening. So that became quite a well established. It got uh, accredited by the QCA and it has its uh, plus and negative points as well. So it has not yet been embraced in India as much, but offshoot of that was a three-year degree course, which happened for the London Contemporary Dance Trust, which I wrote for Katha. And the idea again behind that was how do you create um, a dancer? You can't create a full-time Kathak dancer because the training for Kathak dance is much uh, rigorous, much more rigorous. But here, the contemporary dancer who's doing contemporary dance and who's learning ballet would just get tools and ideas of Kathak dance, which perhaps they can use in their choreographies. So that was very clear from the beginning that they will not be full-time Kathak dancers, but they are training this as an ancillary skill, if I may call it, for enhancing their contemporary dance training. So that is how uh, we did the course and we ran it for three to four years um, uh, at the place. And it had a very interesting um, uh, you know, flavor for us as well. 
what we should bring in, what is the ingredients we bring in. And this actually was an offshoot of the work I had done with Akram Khan. He's a contemporary dancer, Akram had. So I choreographed a lot of his Kathak solo work, uh, which sort of had an edge in contemporary. That's where I started opening up and creating the whole level of physicality and dynamics in, in the art form. Uh, so that became, I think, also a tasting thing for me to try out for contemporary dancers. Why uh, deny, deny that experience and why not reach to a very different audience uh, through the syllabuses? So that's how the, I, uh, the ISTD and the London Contemporary Dance uh, Trust three-year degree course came about. So, uh, you know, since you mentioned physicality and dynamism, I think that's a fantastic uh, moment for us to experience a little bit of, uh, you know, physicality and uh, movement and how do we, um, you know, how do we bring something which is 360 degree experiential? Okay, so great. So I'm going to share this with the audience. So, um, you know, again, it's, it's about um, the element of Katha, but how do you reach out? So I created this, I just thought I'd share this with you all today. So there is something called Jagrati Yatra. That is a train journey which takes young people on a train journey around India in December. Every year for the last 12 years they have been doing. Basically to visit uh, entrepreneurs uh, and believe in India. Believe in the change in India. And go to the grassroots level and see how this is happening. And believe in also entrepreneurship. So as artists, we are also entrepreneurs. You know, we, we create our own ways of... Uh, of work which comes in. So part of that project um, was this, it's called the Jagrati Ghee. I'm sharing it with you today. And the lyrics are written by Prasun Joshi because it's very simple and I'm sure each one of you will learn it like that. Um, so it's, I'm gonna just, the idea was just to explain um, the movements uh, with the lyrics. So it says, Yaro Chal, comrades, let's go. So it's basically, you can imagine all these young people learn this and every time, every day they perform this for coming together, for bringing the energies together. So the words are, Yaro Chalo, okay, comrades, let's move. Badalle ki rut hai, season to change. Okay, so Yaro Chalo, Badalle ki rut hai, Yaro Chalo, Savarne, it's nice now to decorate here. Savarne ki rutte. So the season is to change, season is to transform at the same time. And then it goes, I'll just walk you through. Kuch badal raha, something is changing. Kuch badlenge, we will change something else. Jab badlega, tab badle. It's okay, if it changes, it's fine. We shrug our shoulder. Kuch dekha hai, we see something. Kuch dekhenge, we will continue to observe it. Kuch likha hai, some things are written in history and some we will create ourselves. Kuch likh denge. Then it goes again, yaro chalo, badal ne ki ruth hai, yaro chalo, sabar ne ki ruth hai. Okay, so that's the first paragraph. Um, I think it's very simple. So let's try this. And we'll end with a musical small section, which opens up, close, open up, close, open up, close, and then it goes into this way. So we'll try this much, everybody. So relax, and uh, that's why I wanted you to participate because it's on a chair. You don't need to get up. And whatever you're wearing, you're looking great, all of you out there. But just join me together on this, come. Okay, let's go. So this is dedicated to all the young students and the youth who have been traveling in India and will continue to discover the beauty of this country and believe in change. So here we go. Let's go. कुछ बदल रहा कुछ बदलेंगे तब बदलेगा जब बदलेंगे कुछ देखा है कुछ देखेंगे कुछ लिखा है कुछ लिख देंगे कुछ बदल रहा कुछ बदलेंगे तब बदलेगा जब बदलेंगे कुछ देखा है कुछ देखेंगे 
कुछ लिखा है कुछ लिख देंगे यार चलो यार चलो बदलने की रुत है यार चलो यार चलो सवरने की रुत है Okay, I think everybody should have got that. It was, uh, yeah, it has a different feel to it, and uh, I'm glad. Thank you. Wonderful. So uh, we are coming at that point. Uh, Gauri, where we would like to invite Padmaji and Tarani on our discussion as well. A warm welcome. And let me just introduce uh, Guru Padma Sharma. Uh, it's a real privilege, Padmaji, to have you here. So, Padmaji. Thank you, Sharma. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> has been a Kathak uh, exponent and performer and uh, you know like uh, for the last five decades she graduated from Lucknow University uh, she had um, studied under like you know like uh, Guru Mohan Rao Kalyan Purkar uh, and uh, done her Bhat, um, Bhatkande Sangeet Mahavidyale uh, degree in those years and then from there she went on to uh, train under Guru Lachum Maharaj and um, she has also trained briefly with uh, Gurus uh, Shambhu Maharaj and uh, Birju Maharaj. Um, she's also learned vocal music, which is amazing because, uh, you know, she's the rounded artist where uh, you have to bring together dance, music, tal, rhythm, expression, right? And, um, you know, like, uh, it's fantastic how, uh, you know, artists earlier really brought together all these elements and, like, you know, to, um, uh, and, and learned like you know and borrowed from like you know different traditions into the main form that they were in she's given numerous uh, performances through the ages she's been a solo uh, dancer in uh, multiple ballets dance dramas in india abroad won multiple awards like shringar mani sarangde fellowship shivali nritya shiromani nritravrid sangeet prakash and many more She's uh, performed, um, you know, as I said, around the world, but she's also like, you know, performed for or uh, choreographed for uh, Bollywood movies. So she had assisted Guru Lachu Maharaji for um, uh, several of the songs, including like, you know, I think uh, the ones from uh, Tisri Kasam and Pakiza with Meena Kumari. And uh, yes. <laughs> uh, she's been a poet. And again, like, you know, Padmaji, this is the multifaceted artist that you are, like, you know, like uh, dance, music, poetry. Uh, it's amazing. And uh, she's also been a musical examiner. Uh, she's uh, been a judge. Uh, she's, uh, like, you know, been a part of government uh, organizations. Um, uh, you know, like, uh, so many different things that you have done. And you continue to be, uh, you know, I think the inspiration for uh, Gauri and Tarani for all of the things that they are doing. So welcome. First of all, Abrita, I want to thank you for bringing me and my two daughters together on this platform. And it's really nice. And I feel emotional when I see all three of us. Because of you, we are here. Thank you. Our privilege. <laughs> And uh, Tarani is uh, the third generation uh, Kathak artist and Kathak student who's learned from um, her grandmother, Guru Padma Sharma, and from her mother, Gauri uh, Sharma Tripathi. And uh, she's not just like in a train, but she's really been exploring the language of uh, Kathak and taking it to new, um, like, you know, like uh, new forms uh, through both uh, contemporary dance and uh, collaborating with uh, Indian classical performers, collaborating with uh, contemporary artists and so on. And she's also an athlete and a fitness coach. And again, like, you know, she's taking the form of Kathak and, um, you know, taking it to a new area 
all together and we would love to explore that i saw your instagram page and it looks amazing with all the poses that you have in there um which like you know could be some perhaps borrowed from katak and some from like you know, various fitness um like you know, exercise forms and so on so would love to explore that and see like you know how you see dance evolving um you know like in your times and in the times to come yeah so, thank you so much amrita and uh, just mirroring what uh, my uh, nani said it's a wonderful platform thank you for bringing us together so um you know we've um had a conversation with uh, gauri about her journey but of course um you know there is so much to unpack when you're looking at the performing arts so let's uh, begin with the first thing where um a lot of people learn but ultimately it is sadhana right and that sadhana that whole concept of sadhana like you know was something that was taught earlier on i mean i ha- i'm not somebody who's taken um dance as my career but i learned when i was younger and my guru who at that point of time was in his 70s was still practicing every day he was actually a, a tabla player but he had learned dance and he was a guru of both dance and tabla so again like you know like uh, art used to be multifaceted and the amount of dedication that you would have seen padmaji in your time what yeah. you- what you tell students so tell us a bit about like you know that environment like you know like uh, the guru shishya parampara the expectations that you had um, you know they were much different from what a teacher can actually expect from a student today so tell us take us back into that time i i started very early at my uh, i was 5 years old and one thing more i want to tell you i come from a doctor's family where there was no dancing music nothing my father was a doctor my grandfather my brothers they were all doctors but my mother she was interested in singing and she used to play the harmonium and also sitar so this was way back in 90 early 1940s so she felt or maybe she had the urge to learn kathak just as a hobby so i was very small that time and she used to go to learn from my guru ji who later became my guru mohan rao ji so she was she used to go daily in the afternoon and i used to accompany her so this was going on for some time but slowly i started liking it and i used to go there sit there and see what she is doing so anyway so uh, this uh, happened around uh, when i was almost 7 years 7 8 years then uh, after that uh, i told my mother that i would like to learn so i got admitted in hathkhande sangeet mahavidyalaya in lucknow that was around when i was 10 years and this uh, training was all theoretical training practical training there was a syllabus and a course was there so every year there was five uh, years for musharat and then three more eight years total for nipun so i did all my <laughs> this was a very um, rigorous uh, time for me because academics was there i used to come in the evening for dance for music and also on sundays i was painting so i had no time to think about anything so so i did my um, nipun from uh, bharkhande that was around um, 58 59 and that same time i was lucky to her get married to bomb i mean to Uh, uh my husband who was encouraging me right from the beginning so then uh, what happened is that um, this um, i was learning and the main uh, training was over over in the sense that i did all the course and and um, finally it was the highest degree which i got that was in 58 but somehow 
it happened that Lakshu Maharaj, this was under Mr. Kallan Purkar. Um, something happened and then Maharaj came to uh, Lucknow and I happened to go there to see his program in a mehfil. And there he, he did a thumri and he, you must be knowing um, Lakshu Maharaj, Bidya Maharaj's uncle. So there, um, it was it was a turning point for me when I saw Lachim Maharaji there. Um, that was the first time, and that was it. He uh, sang a Kumri and did how the Abhinay part of uh, dance. Uh, after that, uh, this uh, he was. Uh, going on i mean for hours he was just for a single line he used to uh, depict so many bhavs many many bhavs it, it is very difficult also but he was superb and the whole program was mesmerizing and i told myself now i have to learn and to sikhna hai to inse sikhna hai luckily i came to bombay and then started learning this was the guru shishya parampara i which you asked for. Um, Mohan Raoji was just uh, uh, doing the course and uh, that's its uh, theory part. But for Maharaj when I came and started learning, that was Guru Shishya Parampara. Because he, there was no structure, nothing. He would come, we had to just go to his house, sit next to him and he used to um, teach whenever he wanted. It was all his whims and fancies. Many times it, it happened that so many days I used to go and he did not teach even a single thing. But sometimes he would, would teach so much that it was difficult to absorb. So this is this was the Guru Shishya Parampara. And he, he was the master of all art form. Uh, art form in the sense Whichever, uh, uh, like um, the actions, the um, singing, everything. I like to, um, shall I show you the Tumri which he did that day? Hey, yes. Gauri, can I do that? Yeah. <laughs> it was. Uh, <clears throat> and he. Uh, danced for almost two hours doing the same Tony many many times depicting all different aspects of life and everything. So this uh, Tumri goes as Nar chama chama pani bhare ri kon albele ki nar chama chama hathe rasariya kandhe gagariya hathe rasariya kandhe gagariya Tirichi chitvan se ghayal kareri kon albele ki nar chama chama. So this was the, I, from him I came to this Guru Shishya Parampara. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, uh, the expectation from those days, like, you know, like, uh, as you said, some days he would teach. Yeah. He wanted to teach for 10 hours or eight hours or four hours. No, he used to, my time, timing was 10 to 12, two hours. Two hours. But in that also, sometimes he, I used to go there for uh, maybe a week or so, he did not teach there. But sometimes it's, it depended on his mood, what he would do. And, but you see, I have learned and I am a traditional dancer. I don't change. I have never changed what Maharaj has told me 
and the hand gestures and bowls and everything. I whatever I have learned from Maharaji, I have kept it just alive as. मतलब सच्चाई में मैंने काम किया है उनके साथ उसमें कोई देर इज नो मिक्सिंग अप ऑफ थिंग्स और बोल्स इफ ही हैज सेड समथिंग तो वो वैसे मैंने किया सो आई हैव नॉट पोल्यूटेड द द बोल्स ऑफ व्हिच पीपल डू नाउ अ डेज दे जस्ट मिक्स थिंग्स फ्रॉम दिस घराना दैट घराना एंड मेक देयर ओन बोल्स दैट आई हैव नॉट डन सो दिस वाज एंड I used to assist him in uh, his work in the uh, in ballets. I have <coughs> I have been doing his ballets. Main role I used to get, and uh, for films also, I used he used to take me, and I was assisting him in two three films. So many kia hai kafi kuch because he was sick and I did the uh, choreography. So I have learned so much from him choreography and. That is there composing things, composing moon bowls, uh, composing uh, tumris and bhajans. So that I was fully in practice when I was with Maharaji. So I was able to uh, grasp things even while um, uh, there's some uh, film shootings. I learned so much about uh, cinematography and. choreography lighting so it has been a um, real lovely journey actually <laughs> i think uh, what you said uh, padma ji sachai yeah. se uh, like you know because that is such a critical element of taking the arts forward that ek sachai rehni chahiye uske baad uh-huh. aap uspe kar uh, like you know as as gauri was also mentioning that uh, there is a uh, you know the original you have to know the original before original, you know. yes yes so or ye to maraji ka to ye tha ki he was whatever he said wo mujhe bolna tha so i i i character wise i have i mean achhi tarah se samajh gayi thi main maraji ko so i never said no he never liked any of his students say no to him you know uh, many a times it used to happen ke wo sham ko kahin ja rahe to unhone bola din hai to bolte the ki abhi raat hai to main kehti thi ha raat hai kabhi maine i have never ever said no to him because i agar malum bhi hota tha to to bhi main nahi bolti thi ki aapne aisa kaha but he was a gem or he was a gem of a person I was so lucky to have Mohan Rao ji initially, and then later on Maharaj ji, which I am still remembering. So, I remember their names. Whatever I teach, I have whatever I have learned, I have taught in a very honest way. So, I am still remembering their names. Whatever I teach, I have whatever I have learned, I have taught in a very honest way. I can say that. <laughs> and uh, do you continue to practice uh, today, Padma? Yes, I I practice, but not now. I am my age is. I'll be. 83 in September. <laughs> so I practice, I teach, I have I performed on uh, this um, in the uh, NCPA huh. in Lucknow. I performed in that uh, in 2018. So little bit of performance is there off and on. Or uh, your uh, or anything else, huh? You know, आपने जो गाया like you know it was so beautiful. So <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like uh, because this was the Thumri which Maharaj ji first time I met him and he sang and did abhinay on it so that this is very important for me because my I changed my I mean my life was changed so I learned from him and he never he never ever said no ke nahi tum seekhne nahi aao koi luck ki baat hai just ye acche guru mile to fir और उनसे मैं कभी बोल भी नहीं सकती थी कि आपने ये क्यों किया ये कैसे किया जो उन्होंने कहा वो किया ही न्यू मी कर दैट्स व्हाई ही ही टॉट मी नहीं आई थिंक वो लाइक एक इफ योर गुरु इज द आईना और उस आईने में आप अपने आप को लाइक यू नो लाइक उतार लेते हो बिल्कुल बिल्कुल वो नो यू 
uh, when you dance, you the chavi of your guru is always there. You can make out ये किसके शागिर हैं ये तो ये मालूम हो जाता है just अंग अंग is a very important thing अंग कैसा होगा तो वो and he was last से last से के शैनशाह माने जाते हैं but also Amrita I'm just coming in it was also the tradition of questioning no questioning only no questioning that that's what i told you that agar din hai to hum kehte the ha din hai agar raat bhi hoti thi to bolte the to we cannot ko argument mein kyu dalti main main maine ladki ya fir wo karti bahut se bacche aate the to unko nahi pasand the us to go kehte the jana hai to jao mera nahi sunna hai to nahi sunna he was very uh, ajeeb kisam ke dimag tha unke <laughs> therefore now this generation have be questioned they are constantly questioning they yes. constantly questions so that's yeah, the, yeah. Like, ye kyun hua these days abhi bolte hum kyun nahi keh sakte the that is why whatever i teach gauri or talini to main wohi sikhati hu jo maine sikha jab haath agar aise gaya to waise hi jayega jaise wo sikha wo baat alag hai ki main i innovate uh, so many actions and uh, bowls and all That is different. But जो उनसे सीखा है वो वैसा का वैसा कहीं भी कोई भी there's no pollution in <laughs> जैसे आजकल mix करते हैं कि rock rock and roll भी हो गया है um, uh, ballroom dancing भी कथक में आ रहा है सब सब किस्म से कर रहे हैं but the authentic city जो कथक में है वो बहुत मुश्किल है कायम रखना because बहुत इधर उधर से चीजें पोल्यूशन होके मिक्स हो जाती है तो वो ऑथेंटिक नहीं रहती अगर ऑथेंटिक है और नीप आपकी पक्की है तो कभी भी कोई चीज गलती नहीं होगी यू कैन इनोवेट यू कैन चेंज द एक्शन जो मैं करती हूँ अपने जब मुझे करना होता है कंपोज तो आई चेंज बट ओरिजिनल जो था वो मैंने अभी तक संजोए रखा है and and that is so important to uh, you know carry it forward uh, in the tradition carry it for ke ilawa jab jab ye ab aage ki generation ko to malum hona chahiye ki sahi kya tha abhi haath kahin bhi uthate hain kahin bhi kuch karte hain mixing bahut ho gayi hai aaj kal har cheez hai mixing i think aur uh, main kathak to theek hai sikha but i was a bharatnatyam dancer earlier i did my arangat ram then my guru ji went away to madras <coughs> and then i started kathak i joined bhatkande and anyway it is a long journey <laughs> that is amazing ki aapne bharatnatyam bhi sikha fir uske baad bharatnatyam i did full course then i did kathak aur kathak mein hum bahut sa bahut kaam kiya hai bahut ballets solo performances पिक्चर में महाराज जी के साथ में बहुत सीखने को मिला और उन्हीं की वजह से मैं आज कुछ भी एक कोई शब्द दे दे तो हम गा सकते हैं या नाच सकते हैं तो लाइक दैट ये है ना तीसरी कसम का जो गाना है नौटंकी का गाना है एक्चुअली इट्स नॉट कथक तो जब उनको महाराज जी को मिला ये कि आप कोरियोग्राफ करें तो कहने की अरे नौटंकी तो नौटंकी तो मुझे नहीं आती बोले तो देन टोल मी कि तुमने तो थीसिस लिखी है ऑन उत्तर प्रदेश के लोक नृत्य उसमें तो नौटंकी होता है तो वाई डोंट यू कम एंड डू द कोरोग्राफी एंड ही वॉज सिक ऑल्सो तो फिर वो मैंने आई यूज टू गो सिक्स ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग जो कुछ मैं सीखती थी या जो कुछ मैंने कंपोज किया वो उनको दिखाती थी एंड देन आई यूज टू गो टू द स्टूडियो श्री साउंड स्टूडियो दादर में है वहां होती थी शूटिंग तो वो है वो गाना भी है बिकॉज इट्स नॉट एन की आई वॉज इन माई थीस नॉट एन की का चैप्टर एनी वे सो मैं देखती थी और फिर मैंने उनका किया वो इस इस हिसाब से मुझे सीखने को भी मिला और और भी पिक्चरों में मैंने साथ में किया है ये बाकी जान है ठाड़े रही हो बाकी यार जो गाना है वो है अच्छा और एक नजर है बेनजीर है ये दिल किसको दूं और ये पान खाए सैया हमारो माई कोरोग्राफी 
Can you demonstrate a little bit? पान खाए सैया हमारो सावली सूरतिया पूख लाल लाल हाय हाय मलमल का कुर्ता मल मल के कुर्ते पे छीट लाल लाल पान खाए सैया हमारो <laughs> तो ये तो मैंने ऐसे ही कह दिया आपने गुरु शिष्य परंपरा पूछा ना तो मैंने कहा ये सब हमने सीखा है महाराज जी से अच्छा उनका सिखाने का तरीका भी बहुत अजीब सा था वो मुझको दादर स्टेशन पे बस स्टॉप पे छोड़ने आते थे और जब आते थे तो आई यूज टू वेट फॉर द बस यू यूज टू स्टैंड रेड रुके रहते थे वो कि जब तक बस मिलेगी तो।, तो फिर मुझसे कहते थे देखो जो यहाँ से चल रहा है जो यहाँ से जा रही है लड़कियां उनको देखो कैसे चल रही है कैसे किसी की चुटिया यूं यूं हिल रही है पीछे किसी का कुछ है ये देखो और कल सुबह आके मुझे बताना कि ये कैसे चल रही थी गत में चा, गत की चाल लो और वही चीज चल के बता ऐसे उन्होंने नायिका भेद जो है ना वो आप समझती होंगी ना नायिका भेद जो जैसे विरहनी नायिका है वासक सज्जा तो ये सब और ये बताओ देख के कि वो कौन सी नायिका है तो इस तरह से उनका सिखाने का तरीका था महाराज जी का और तो तो उनको वही लगता था मैं कहती थी महाराज जी अगर आप पैसे सिखाएंगे तो कोई किसी दिन गाली बकेगा आपको कि देख रहे हैं फिर उसको वो करें कोई भी लड़की अगर कोई सड़क पे जा रही है और कहेगी तुम जो है जैसे वो कर रही है कल मुझे दिखाना है वो क्या है कैसे नाच रही है और क्या उसकी चाल क्या थी वो चाल अपने डांस में लो ऐसे सीखा मैंने इट वॉज एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग That's amazing. 